Welcome to the Arcad Saga. My name is Elkin Wiesma, also known as EJ. Welcome, welcome. I hope you uh, will like this video. This is an unboxing video. Most of the times, a lot of people uh, like these types of videos. Completely get it. It's always nice. Uh, and we are always curious to see what's inside of those uh, those boxes in most cases sometimes bags but uh, in my case as you can see it's also a box and there should be two orchids in there these are coming from Swerder, Swerder orchids from uh, germany and um, one of the orchids is one that i had on my list for quite a while i think about uh, three years now and it's a fairly common known orchid, but I couldn't find it for some reason. I didn't was uh, I not really was searching for it that often, but every time I was visiting a nursery online, I checked if they had this uh, particular orchid, and they didn't. But I do see it uh, fairly often uh, on on YouTube with other growers, so it's it's a very known, uh, co very common. Uh, orchids, but sometimes it uh, can be hard to find those as well. But it should be in this box. Uh, last week I checked it again, and the first uh, nursery I checked, Swerter Orchids, I found it. I did check other uh, nurseries as well, and they didn't have it. So I was uh, fairly lucky uh, to find it uh, at Swerter's. So uh, that's uh, that's about the intro. So you now a little bit know uh, how I uh, did uh, sort of find this orchids uh, or these orchids. Anyhow, let's open up the box and let's have a look inside. So here we go. Always start with that uh, tape, of course, getting that off and uh, broken down. <laughs> In the sense that we can, yeah, here we go. We can at least open the box. There we go. Need some cuts. Yes, there we are. So let's have a look. Yeah, this is an invoice. I'm going to take this uh, next to the camera <laughs> because my ad address is on there. And here we go, here we go. Is this in frame? Yes, it is. Oh, these are packed very nicely. I already tell, at least uh, the first time. This wrapping paper and some uh, newspaper. Yeah, there they are. Well, let's uh, let's start with this one. I have no idea if this is the one that I was uh, searching for, so to speak. But um, let's uh, let's see. Can we? Yeah, I can open it here, so you can see it. Here we go. Oh, I'm always curious to see, of course, in what type of condition these orchids are. They've been on transport for a few days. Not that long so that should be fine and we didn't have any freezing cold so that should be fine as well i always try to check the weather before i start to order and here we go so yeah do you recognize the leaves I, you probably do it's a fail a young fail so let's uh, get this off so we can check young fails are at uh, Young plants in general are very uh, suitable to change the setup with, um, if you ask me. So uh, I like to grow them in self-watering, as you probably know. So young plants do adapt a little bit easier. If I would have a fell with a heck of a lot of root system, th those roots were uh, adapted to bark. So it will take more and longer and you probably will lose uh, quite some roots. So it can be done. But I prefer uh, changing uh, setups with younger orchids. They do adapt uh, just a little bit easier because they sort of kind of growing anyways, normally do not have a big root system. So that should be fine. And this is my uh, sort of uh, second choice. <laughs> but I hear this uh, about this one a lot. So I thought, well, you know what? I'm going to give it a go. This is a uh, Lunimaniana. Finally, up is a Lunimaniana. Beautiful one, absolutely beautiful. And this one looks very healthy. And look at this. Beautiful and new growth. And another one and another one, a growing tip, I should say. And here, oh, I already count four or five. Oh, that's awesome, you guys. So if, if it keeps uh, working on those roots, the adaptation should be fine. Upcoming uh, days, when I'm going to repot it. Anyhow, let's, uh, let's check for the, for the other one. Clean up a little bit of my mess. 
like that. So this should be the one I was looking for for quite a while. Are you curious already which one, <laughs> which one it is? Maybe you have it in your collection. Who knows? Who knows? If you have, please let me know. I'm always uh, curious to know what type of orchids you guys grow. And yeah, I need a scissor for this <laughs> this piece of tape. It's a little bit too long. There we go. There we go. Yeah, I should have done that earlier. <laughs> don't want to take up too much time, of course. But yeah, I also don't want to rush it because you never know where a leaf or a root is before you start cutting with your scissors. There we go. Uh, almost, almost. Oh, this has very large leaves. And uh, look at that. Another fell. And look at those leaves, already fairly big. This one is known for the very large, uh, large leaves. And look at this. A growing tip there, another one here. Oh, actually another one there. So already three growing tips. Uh, four, yes. Oh, this is good. These plants look very, very healthy. And they are uh, in a growing state. <laughs> they really want to grow. So, uh, yeah, and this is uh, in moss. So I need to take it out quite soon, actually. I, I don't work with moss. Not very well. And especially if they are so compacted as these guys. It's just uh, for me, uh, no. A big no, I need to change that. I need to get that air inside of the pot. So let's see if I can take it off the plastic. Yes, there it goes. And again, yes, here it is. This is it. <laughs> this is the one I was looking for. Let me grab the tag. Oh, this is very nice cross, actually. I knew which one I was choosing, but I, uh, here, well, first of all, here it is. It's the Digentica Alba cross with Bellina Blue. It's the Giga Bell, also known as the Giga Bell. But I didn't, I'm not sure if every Giga Bell is crossed with the Bellina Blue. I just thought it was the more green, pink uh, Bellina type, but not the blue one. Maybe that's with every Gigabell. I, I should have checked, but I, uh, I, I just assumed it was one, just one Bellina. Anyhow, uh, it's, it's the Gigabell, the Family Opus Gigabell, and it's absolutely beautiful. Already uh, getting these beautiful, uh, fairly uh, long leaves, as we just saw, beautiful shiny leaves. So yeah, that's, that's really awesome. So yeah, that's it. Well, at least you never know. You never know. Let's just check quickly. Sometimes you do get these gifts. So yeah, I'm going to clean up and then we will have a last look at these uh, two beautiful uh, new additions to my collection. So yeah, and here they are, the beauties. Beautiful uh, green color on the leaves. And as you just saw, growing tips on those roots. So yeah, these, look at that. These are in a beautiful, uh, healthy condition. I'm really, really am happy with uh, what I'm seeing. So, and here is the net. If you're going to look for it, for sure, you should uh, check the both parents' names instead of the Giga Bell. Otherwise, you will not find it. I think it is in the description, also known as a Giga Bell. But if you look for it, uh, you need to look for uh, the parents. The cross will uh, will it will be listed uh, under those two names. Let's put it like that. And then, uh, like I said, uh, I saw the Ludemaniana as well. And I thought, you know what? I'm going to try that one as well because it's so beautiful. So here we go, you guys. Two beautiful new additions to my collection. Thank you so much for watching. And of course, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Maybe you want to share it with some people. And if you didn't already uh, have, you may uh, want to subscribe to my channel. And uh, for now, uh, once again, thank you so much for watching. And I really, really hope to see you at one of my next uh, videos. Bye-bye.